In this video we're going to look at some basic formatting commands for formatting uh, the font and uh, with formatting the font uh, all you have to do is select the text that you want to format and then apply the font formatting command. And everything we're going to look at in this video is on the home tab and it's inside the font group up here. So let's start, I'll just select the entire first paragraph here and so we can see how some of these commands work. And uh, if you want to change the font name, uh, go to the font box here, click on the down arrow. And uh, if you've used some fonts recently, they will appear here, which is kind of handy. Uh, if it's something you haven't used in a while, uh, you can just type in the first couple of letters. Uh, let's say I want the Tahoma font. I type TA and uh, it takes me down there and I didn't have to scroll. There's a lot of fonts in Windows and um, Sometimes you don't want to do all that scrolling. So uh, it takes me down to Dahoma right away, and I click on it, and it applies the font. And I'm going to undo that so we're back to where we were before. Uh, if I want to change the font size, uh, this box here selects the font size. And uh, we can go from 8 through 12, and then it starts skipping some of our choices. And it does a live preview for us here. And uh, once we get up to about uh, 28, uh, then it starts doing some really big jumps and uh, so you can select whatever you want there so let's do uh, let's do 14 we'll make it a little bit bigger and I'm gonna undo that and bring it back the way it was again and uh, we've got some buttons here for increasing the font size and for decreasing the font size and if I click on this once it takes me to 14 it doesn't take me to 13 what this button does is every time I click on it it takes me to the next bigger number on this list rather than increasing by one point size so I click on it again, it goes to 16 and 18 and 20 and so on. And this one here to decrease the font size does exactly the same thing uh, in the other direction. So it's going to skip for two for a while until we get down to uh, 12. And then it goes by ones because that's how they are on here. Okay, let's go back to what we had to begin with, which was 12. Um, there's also um, some options for formatting the case of the letters. Uh, if I choose sentence case it will capitalize the first letter of every sentence uh, and it's already capitalized that really didn't do much for me. Um, it can also switch uh, everything to lowercase if I want to and we will undo that because I don't really want that. Uh, it will also switch everything to uppercase which is something you might want to use for a title maybe. Uh, I'm going to undo that uh, and it will let you capitalize each word which is probably another option for titles and we'll undo that and uh, the last option is to toggle the case here uh, which switches upper to lower and lower to upper and um, that doesn't do much for us in this particular case uh, if you left the shift key on or the shift lock key on by mistake um, that's a handy thing to do but actually word does that for you automatically if you uh, leave the shift lock key on by mistake. Um, this option right here uh, clears all of the formatting and returns it back to whatever your normal style is right here. Uh, so if you get your uh, font formatting all messed up and you want to just go back and start over again, uh, that's a good way to do it. Now I'm going to undo that again so we're back to where we were before. And then we've got three commands up here for bold, italic, and underline. Uh, and these are toggles. If I click on it once, it makes it bold. If I click on it a second time, it sets it back to normal text. If I click on italic once, it becomes italic. If I click on it again, it toggles back to normal. And the same thing with underline. And I'm going to toggle it back. Now, with recent versions of Word, uh, you get several choices here for underline. Uh, you're not just stuck with a single underline anymore. You can do a double. You can do a real heavy underline. Uh, and you've got some other choices. And if you don't even like those, uh, you've got some more choices here for more underlines and you've also got choices for specifying the color if you want to. Uh, there's also a strikeout option. Um, you know, this would be useful if you wanted to keep a record of what you had at one time. Um, you know, if you want to temporarily uh, get rid of it but you think you may want to put it back in. Um, uh, that's an option and that's also a toggle. I'm going to turn that off. Uh, and there is also the ability to do subscripts and superscripts. 
So with uh, H2O, I want that to be a subscript. So I click on it, and this will make it into a subscript. And um, over here on E equals MC squared, that's supposed to be an exponent. And so I can make it an exponent uh, by clicking on that button. And I'm going to do a Control Z here to undo that, and another Control Z to undo the other one. Um, we've got a few options here for um, text effects. Uh, basically, what this does is uh, it turns it into word art, uh, and it does do a live preview for us here. Uh, so you've got some choices here, and I'm probably moving a little too fast. Um, so you can select your choice, and then you've got just about an infinite number of possibilities here for changing the outline and the shadow, and you can add a reflection, uh, and you can make it glow, and um, you know some other things. And we're not going to go into those in detail. Uh, you can explore them easily on your own if you want to. Um, so we won't pick anything there. Uh, you've also got the ability to do highlighting, uh, a bunch of really bright colors here. And uh, I assume that some of these darker highlights are for cases where you might have um, light text. Otherwise, um, let me try that again. I didn't have it selected. Um, oh, and I can drag the mouse over it now, too. If I click on that and click and drag, and let's do the blue highlighting, and that's kind of hard to read. So we'll do an undo here uh, a couple of times to get it back to normal. And you can also change the font color. Uh, you can pick any color here you want, and if you don't like that, uh, we've got standard colors, and depending on the theme that you've chosen, these colors up here vary. Uh, you can also click on more colors here, and you get quite a few colors here, and if that's not enough, you can go to custom, and you can set the amount of red, green, and blue, uh, a number from 0 to 255 for each one of these, uh, and you've got access to 16 million uh, different colors there. Um, okay, before we close here, uh, some keyboard shortcuts. Um, the bold keyboard shortcut uh, is Control B, and if you pause the mouse over here, it actually tells you what it is. I'm going to do Control B here, and then another one to toggle it. Uh, italic is Control I. Let's do a Control I once, and again to toggle it off. And underline is Control U. We'll do a Control U, and then again to toggle it off. And those are pretty much universal uh, in just about every Windows application I've seen. If it has the ability to format text, uh, Control-B and Control-I and Control-U are the keyboard shortcuts. And another handy keyboard shortcut here, uh, if you want to increase the font size um, by one point at a time, uh, hold the Control key down and hit the right square bracket on your keyboard. It's uh, over above the Enter key. And every time you do it, increases by one point size instead of um, by going through that uh, that list up there. And uh, there are a lot of times when you know how big you want your font to be uh, when you look at it, but you don't know what particular font size that happens to be. So you can just bounce on this key until it gets to the size you want, and then you can stop. And you can go back in the other direction by holding the Control key down and hitting the left square bracket, and you know, getting it back to where we were to begin with. I think we were on uh, 12 when we started here. So there we go. So we're back to where we were before. And uh, those are all of the options uh, that are available up here on the font group on the Home tab.